hello and welcome back to my channel everyone it is your girl cassandra olivia and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a picture that a client showed me and then i'm going to be showing you guys her before and after so without further ado you guys already know i like to set up prior to doing each client so if you're not sure on that i will be sure to drop everything down below but just please refer to all of my other hair color videos so today i'm going in with two colors i'm using the 7.44 cc by rusk and i'm also using that red shade and again i will link everything down below i'm literally at the bus stop getting ready to get my daughter off the bus and i was supposed to have this voiceover done like two or three days ago but due to like my allergies and my asthma acting up like your girl has been struggling with her asthma recently so if i'm breathing kind of hard and heavy like this weather has literally had me so messed up on top of like it being summertime my allergies are just all over the place so i will drop the ratios down below in the description but um i'm just going to show you guys how i'm mixing this really quickly and then i'm going to explain to you guys what i'm doing so this client already came in she did go somewhere else to try to have this color that i showed in the beginning for some reason it is pulling kind of red on the screen but it's like a dark copper color so again i'm going to show a side by side for her hair color when we're done and then the picture that she showed but long story short she went somewhere else to get this hair color done and it just didn't come out the way she wanted it exactly they have the copper undertone pretty much there but it wasn't red enough and it wasn't dark enough so i'm just going in with two different formulas one for her ends all i'm doing is going in with that seven or ten volume i believe again i'm sorry i will drop this down below but i'm just mixing this with the color and just depositing this only with olaplex making sure that i'm just neutralizing and adding some more copper and red undertone to her hair to get her to that desired result that she wants so i'm only applying this first color to where she already has her hair previously colored and then for the roots i'm going to do a completely different formula so just watch as i apply this and i'll be back in just a few moments
that's why I smoke, boy. That's why I smoke, boy. Also, I am going in with some Framar mesh sheets and I'm just putting this on the bottom of each for these sections just to make sure that I don't have any color transfer or an outfit. This is an additional step. I already do have my backwards bib on and she does have a towel and a cape, but I just like to do this just to ensure that everything is nice and clean. So now that I went through and did a rough draft on each section, I'm just going back in and reapplying everything, just making sure that I'm overly saturating the hair. The key to making sure that hair color comes out super amazing is saturation. So I already saturated all four sections. You guys saw me split them apart and add the color, but I just, I'm going in with the excess that I mix because I mix a little bit too much and I'm just reapplying that all over where I put that previous color. I'd rather oversaturate it than undersaturate it and just to make sure that color will come through. So now I just want to get a little bit of warmth in the hair. So I'm just going to put a little bit of shower caps on her hair. I did one on the right, one on the left, and then one overall um, going over both sides. And I did like this process just with her natural heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Or no, um, for about 15, 20 to 25 minutes. And now I'm just going in with a second formula. Um, I didn't mix this on camera because I, I didn't realize that my phone had died. You guys know I like to use my phone a lot to record. And I had color in my hands. And by the time I looked over, I was like, oh, shoot. So I am going in with just some lightener and developer. I'm using the Wella Blondor. And I'm also using a 7 volume on her root because I don't want to have it um, lift too much. She already was pretty light on the ends. I'll say she was about a level 6, 7-ish. Even though she was copper, that was like the undertone it was giving. So we do want to make her root just a tad bit darker, like just a shade darker. So I'm going in with a 7 volume. I'm literally going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes max. And then I'm going to rinse this out at the bowl. And then I did throw a toner on her hair. I will drop the toner that I used down below. But I did use a um, toner by Redken. Um, I use the, what did I use? Oh my goodness. I wrote on her profile. So what I'll do is... I don't want to lie to you guys in this video because I'm sitting at the bus stop waiting for my daughter and I just got a new iPhone so I can record better content. But I will drop exactly what toner I use down below. But just know I let the toner sit for about five minutes and then that just gave us this red root color and it melted everything together to give us this flawless finish. So the side by side was the picture that she showed me versus how her color came out. I wanted to show you guys how it looked um, with the ring light. And natural lighting and also how it looked with the filter just so you can see how it looks different in different lighting but her color is literally exactly how the picture looked it just pulls a little bit weird in my room because my room is pink and I, unfortunately I don't have any natural lighting but this is how it came out and I'm so glad that you guys were able to watch this and enjoy this thank you guys so much for always showing support and please 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 be sure to check my link down below and vote for me for my contest for me to be on TV I will see you guys in the next video bye